It's now time to cast off some stitches in woven stitch and I want to show you how to do this while keeping the pattern correct and using what's called the sloped shoulder cast off. This is a really nice uh, method because you don't get the steps between the rows as you would if you uh, did it without sloping the shoulders. For our first cast off row we just cast off as per normal however we're going to do that in woven stitch and I've decided we need to cast off five stitches. So we're up to a slip stitch row we need to figure out which stitches uh, need to be wrapped. Here's a wrap on our third stitch so for this row our wraps need to be on even number of stitches so our second stitch will be the first slipped and wrap stitch. I'm going to knit the first stitch, slip and wrap the second, pass that slip stitch over, that's our first bind off. Knit the stitch, pass the slip st the stitch over for the second bind off and then slip and wrap as normal pass the stitch over for the third bind off knit a stitch pass the stitch over for the fourth bind off and then our last stitch is a slip and wrap pass the slip stitch over so I've cast off five stitches. Now I'm going to work along the row and uh, we're continuing in our woven stitch. Knit, slip and wrap. You may ask why don't we just knit in stocking stitch. The reason is is whenever we slip and wrap a stitch it brings the stitches together a little bit. So if we didn't cast off in woven stitch our, uh, our cast off edge would be slightly flared because we were continuing to knit a second stocking stitch row. So you want to try and keep the gauge the same. Now we're going to uh, work our stocking stitch row but we're going to stop one stitch before the end. At this point we'll turn our work without working the last stitch. We then slip one stitch from our left hand needle to our right hand needle and we bind off our first bind off stitch. As you can see this is a nice way of having a slope rather than a perpendicular step between our first bind off row and our second bind off row. We need to continue working in woven stitch. So looking at our knitting, I can see that the second stitch is the one I need to slip and wrap, meaning I'll need to knit the first stitch. And I'm going to bind off a further four more stitches so that I've got another bind off row of five stitches. So that's my second bind off stitch slip and wrap that one, my third bind off stitch, my fourth bind off stitch, and my fifth bind off stitch. And we'll continue to the end of the row. So looking at our bind off, as you can see you get a really nice sloping edge to your bind off rather than the steps 
that you see if you work right to the end of the row. So that's our sloped shoulder bind off done in woven stitch.